that's a car my dad bought. It's an antique. I think it's a 76 Cougar. I'm not sure. It has the antique plates on it. Yeah, see you right there. Antique vehicular. It's very pretty. Substantially. Not very heavily, but it's definitely raining. I've been doing some uh, some work with a spike. Or as you people know, Mr. Creepy Pasta. I've been doing some work with him lately. And, uh, well, um, his, Hello, killer. his, um, his Batman Noel series was the first I'd actually ever seriously voice acted. And, um, I'm, I'm looking to get into that kind of seriously. Uh, there's this, this is pretty popular, kind of indie, emo-ish band around where I live by the name of Castiel. They have an intro song, and they needed narration for it, and uh, showing them all the stuff that they did with Mr. Creepypasta, um, yeah, they ended up using my voice for the narration, and it's pretty good, I like it. Um, this is definitely something that I'm wanting to do. But, but also, the only reason I'm probably even going to upload this to my YouTube, if I do, uh, is to talk about how I, uh, I'm working on an album, because I also did, uh, several tracks for Mr. Creepypasta's Batman Noel series, uh, I had done tracks for, uh, games that pretty much don't exist, and what I mean by that is, uh, like say, I, I would write a few tracks that I think sounded like Mega Man X. So if that, if some like new Mega Man X game were to be created, then you know that was like okay, well these songs would be for that then. You know, but I, I never actually talked to anybody from Nintendo. But uh, what? Apologies for that. Anyway, um. So, so some of my intentions were to, uh, you know, kind of show that I can make kind of like video game music. I have a few tracks on there that are just, like, I don't know, I guess you'd call them pop songs of some sort or something, I don't know. Like ones of me with a, playing piano and singing, ones more of like kind of a techno song and me singing, ones of me playing my acoustic guitar and singing, and um, all the other ones I, I have... Uh, have some like more techno Mega Man song sounding kind of things. I have one that's uh, inspired by uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. I have several instrumental, uh, well, rather orchestral, like symphonic type songs that um, a couple that I've uh, sent to Mr. Creepy Pasta for him to use at his own leisure if he wants to. Uh, some of those were actually indeed used in uh, his Batman Noel series. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's 17 tracks. Um, it's probably over the span of about two or three years that I've made all these. And, um, it probably would have been more, but I'm also in a band, and we've, we've been concentrating on finishing our album. So, um, you know, I hadn't really buckled down and tried to create full songs or anything like that with my stuff, but depending on how this album does, because I have had some requests to release some of that stuff, depending on how this album does, we'll see um, if I do uh, crack down and try to create like a like a more re legit album or anything. Um, the Mr. Creepypasta himself is doing the artwork for um, this album. I'm trying to get released on iTunes. Uh, he also has another picture, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to put it in the booklet. 
I have another friend, she's making a painting that I'm going to put in the booklet. And, uh, I mean, by all means, if anybody wants to put any kind of artwork in the booklet, that's what I want to do. You know, I plan on putting a poem of mine in the booklet, as well as descriptions of each individual song. Uh, the theme is basically, um, just art and passion. You know, not so much, um, perfectionism, but just the, the passion of art. You know, as I've said, not to be redundant or anything. But, and you know, um, why stop at music, I thought. You know, my music is my passion and my art and stuff like that, but why stop there? And I realized that when I decided I did need an, uh, some art for my album. If you can call it really an album. I think it's just a collection of random things that I did throughout the past few years. But, um, hey, I mean, if, if, you, if, if you think it's worth buying, by all means... I would, you know, it would be much appreciated, and, you know, when I get, when I get feedback, or the more feedback that I get, I, I plan on doing much more, and, and, seeing where it goes, and, I just want to thank you to, uh, to, uh, Mr. Creepypasta, for, uh, including me in his works, his, his brilliant, brilliant channel he has, where it seems like he never fails, uh, I want to thank him for narrating my story, Emma. Um, that story was indeed a true story, and it meant a lot to me. Uh, and I am still, in fact, uh, very much in love with the girl whom that story is about. Her name's not Emma, but uh, to protect her identity, I'm not going to tell you what her name is. And uh, that's about it. Uh, I'd like to thank anybody else who's had uh, any work on, you know, any of the stuff that I've worked with Mr. Creepypasta on, any of the team-based videos he's made, and uh, I'd also like to thank him for letting me have part in uh, the fourth post of the Ben series, so let's hope, uh, let's hope that goes, you know, that goes far and we can have a lot more creepy things out there for you guys in the future, but until then, I hope you enjoy my album whenever it does indeed get released, I'll probably have more updates in the future about that, uh, chances are if you're seeing this, Mr. Creepypasta linked you here himself, so, uh, without further ado, I hope everybody has a good day, a good evening, and a good night, depending on where you live, because I realize the earth is round and not flat which could be a lesson for us all. Catch you guys later.